Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well enough. Here's a thought. So, since birth, we have uh, the fundamental need for adults to calm us from our own primitive fears, the ones that are part of our very undeveloped mind. For example, the feeling that our body is shattered and that we can't control it yet, the confusion between internal sensations and external stimulations, the fear of our own thoughts because we can't really understand what's a product of our own fantasies and what's actually reality, and so on. So, with time, once our ability to think has evolved enough for us not to be constantly experiencing anxieties that make us feel our existence threatened, we start to experience uh, slightly more elaborate concerns that go hand in hand with our own desires. And the fundamental desire that drives us is, not surprisingly, to be loved. We become anxious because we try to figure out what it is that will grant us love from others. And to get an answer for that, we end up trying to figure out what people uh, we love uh, want from us and how they think. Now, when we are little, uh, we try to figure this out by unconsciously comparing others directly to ourselves because we believe they think the same way. It's a consequence of lack of life experience. An example of this is, for example, when we think, oh, if that person did this, it's because of that. Because if it was me, that's how I would have done it. And if the person's explanations don't match what we think we would do, we get angry because we feel that uh, the person is not being honest. So, we unconsciously project ourselves into others and start behaving accordingly. With the need to be loved, combined with the sense that what others want is what we speculated and projected into them, based in our own unconscious image of ourselves, some curious outcomes may come from this. If we don't have an unconscious tendency to judge too much, and if we deal with adults who don't put too much pressure on us, we will likely grow with a healthy self-esteem. But if we come across with adults who judge us too much, and if we also have a strong tendency to be critical, this external judgment will strengthen our own tendency to be judgmental. And ultimately, our desire to be loved becomes one with the fear of not being good enough. From this fusion of external and internal judgment, we start living under the constant anxiety of having to fully correspond to idealized expectations. We have the need to be perfect. The need for perfection is the attempt at redemption of those who have been destroyed by their own self-judgment. And to be free, we have to accept imperfection, that we will never fully live up to what others expect from us, but more important than that, we will never live up to our own uh, judgment and idealizations. Think about it.